Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Before We Leave. And you just saw the notification pop up. We just completed the shipping research and that is huge for us because I think we've got a lot of the ingredients we need to get this island up and going and be self-sustained. However, uh, we're not quite there yet. We need some help. We need, we're going to need some help on uh, people. We're going to need some help on some resources. So with that in mind, we have just completed the research. So let's hop back in here real quick. Uh, what else can we do? We got power, uh, which we're definitely going to need. Uh, ooh, a pollution cleaner. Okay. That's nice. Uh, houses. We need that. So we need these guys to work hard. How many people do we have? Okay, we do have the two people working in the Explorer's Hut. Cause so we need them to get us up to 40. Because I want to upgrade these houses. That will save us some space and let us upgrade houses instead of having to build more and more and more. So while they work on that, we need to set up some shipping routes. And these trade routes that we're going to work on, I didn't notice it before. Uh, if you remember back... When we first colonized this particular island, uh, we came over with the ship, and that ship became this building. And I didn't notice it at the time, but this is also a port. So we don't have to build a port over here. There's one already here. So some of you probably noticed that, but in my haste of trying to get things done um, and trying to figure out exactly everything we needed to keep these folks alive uh, while we get things started, I missed it. So now we need a port back here on island number one. And the easiest place for me that I think is right here. We've got two spots here and they're right by the road. So that makes the most sense. And the two spots are for two buildings. First is the shipwright, which is gonna be responsible for building all of our ships. And then we need the port itself. So we're gonna put these guys right next to each other. And I'm sort of, I'm slanting them back over in this direction because I believe most everything they're going to end up needing is either going to be here or over here for the food part of it. So I'm trying to slant them to make the direction they have to travel as minimal as I can. All right, so while these are being built, uh, let's hop back over to number two, which, by the way, I think it's a cool mechanic that sunlight over here while well, we have nighttime over here. So just some really cool things about this game are really making me enjoy it more and more the longer uh, we play this game. All right, so there we go. Port and shipwright are done. So what do we want first? We can do a scout ship, which will, uh, which will be a great idea to move quickly through the ocean, find other islands, which hopefully there are other islands here on the planet. And then we can sacrifice it to fully explore the island. So it will uh, remove all of the empty tiles, which we see here over most of the planet right now. We can do a colony ship, which is what we had before. This is what we've got down here. So that particular ship would be sacrificed in order to establish a new port and get things up and running. So we've already seen that in action. And then we've got the trade ship. This is what we want right now. So we can carry resources back and forth and create our trade routes. So we're going to let these guys get busy on that. Uh, and of course, we're not done with island number one, not by a long shot. We need more people, more resources being uh, created. We've got a lot more to do, but right now we're trying to focus on island number two, at least for the time being. I do feel like we're short on people. Yeah, yeah, there's there's not enough going on. So I'll tell you what let's do. Let's go ahead and do our first upgrade of a house. We need the house technology. Okay, what do we need for the house technology? Can we do it here? Uh, we cannot. Okay, we're going to have to do it down there. So that is going to leave us with a couple of options as we're waiting on our ship to be done. Once we get a trade route, you notice that down here we've got almost 60 of the red research. Now we could ship all of that back to Island 1 and do all research from Island 1. That is not a terrible idea. Uh, that would free up some space. We could get rid of uh, this one, and of course we know at some point we're going to run out of research uh, or ancient technology on this particular island. So it looks like we've got two left. So we've got this one, and then we've got this one up here. 
And then once that's gone, then we're done researching over here, or excuse me, and gathering the technology. So right now, I'm thinking that might be the way we want to go. Okay, there we go. Our first trade ship is ready to go. Here it is. And now it's just running away. I'm not sure why it's going over there. So we need a trade route. Uh, managed shipping, that sounds good to me. All right, let's add a line. All right, so island one, port one. Okay, we only have one port on each island, so that makes it simple for now. Okay, so there we go. Let's yes to that. Now, what resources do we want? So for island one, what do we want? Right now, I think it's a good idea for us to take wood. Uh, now, how much do we want to maintain on island number two? We'll just say 20 for now. That's a pretty good target. I don't know how often this ship is going to make it back and forth. So we may have to change that number. For right now, I think 20 is pretty good there. Um, until we get tools up and running, I think that's probably a pretty good idea. Now, we do have 14. Keep in mind, that came from the ship whenever we landed and colonized. So let's try for 20 on there as well. Uh, let's see. Actually, no, let's don't. Let's do 10. I don't feel like we're going to need quite as much there. And we're going to get busy with stone here pretty soon. Same thing with the iron. Uh, what do we need? How about, how about vegetables? Uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, let's try to do maintain 20 vegetables. That'll give them food. Hopefully, we won't run out of food. Now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we can actually make fruit on island number two. I believe that's right. Let's make sure that we don't need anything else coming over. We got potatoes already. We're growing those. Uh, water, I think we're fine. Uh, tea, let's go ahead and do tea. 10 as well. Okay, so this gives us a great incentive to continue working on island number one, to continue uh, this huge production and get it as big as we can so that whenever we hopefully find other islands here on the planet, we can add this stuff in. But for right now, it's a couple of essential resources and some food items and happiness items as well. So island number two, what do we want it to send back? I want it to send back all this red research. Maintain, yes. Don't keep any in reserve. Send everything. That's awesome. We're going to do that. And we're also going to have it send back some fruit. Uh, in reserve, let's keep 10 and then try to maintain 30 there, if we can. I don't, I'm not sure they're going to get to these numbers, but I do want to keep a little bit on island number two. All right, I think that's what I need for right now. We should be able to come back in here at any time, though, and change these around, should we need to. And trade ships, only one trade ship to worry about. Let's go ahead and get that going. Okay, where are we here? So you can see there the trade route just showed up. Uh, they should be loading everything, probably bringing it into the warehouse right now, the port. And let's see about this guy. Okay, so right now he doesn't have anything yet, so I'm assuming that the workers are coming back and forth. In fact, yep, there you see them coming in and out. All right, so the port has two workers. It looks like they've got what they need for now. I do notice, however that we're short one person. I'm assuming that means we're out of people on this island that we're going to have to uh, put up a school to get more. I'm assuming. I don't know that for sure, but I do know that that would make sense. That at some point, I mean, I don't know how many people we had down here in this hole, but Does it say anything about how many people? Oh, it says zero. Okay, so I guess that means, yeah, we're out. <laughs> we're out of people. No more people are coming out from underground. All right, so he is gone. The ship is now gone. He's over here. And I want to keep my eye on him for just a second. I want to make sure you can see the workers are loading all of this up. All right, there's your 30. Now, I need to know... When it does this, can I use this? All right, so you can see these guys are now unloading this, taking it in here. We see our numbers going up. Okay, good. That means we should be able to do all research from this one spot now. Instead of having to 
you know, use all of these satellites from every which uh, direction. So that means we can save a little, a little area. Uh, now we need to, let's hop back over. And while I am thinking about it, we've got potatoes up and growing. Uh, and we're bringing over some vegetables. What I also want to do is get started on that fruit. Let's get that orchard up and running. Wow, that is a huge, huge model. Okay, but uh, orchards it is. We're doing orchards. There you go. Have some orchards. All right, I don't want to put anything here just yet. Uh, we're sort of blocking off a lot of area here. I plan on, in fact, let's just go ahead and do that now. Let's run our road right through here. Now we're going to be able to create some more forest, at least that's the plan anyway, uh, at some point. The question is, do I want to route this thing around the road around like that? It uses up a lot of our, our area for forest and or food production. Uh, I'm not sure right now. This this looks like a pretty good spot. What if I do... Let's take a look. Alright, it says it must face... Alright, so I don't have to put that on there. So what if I go around? I don't, again, that's a lot of... That's a lot of tiles to do. Okay. All right, it's still not bad. All right, we need some more people over here. Yeah, we're at a point where we need people. All right, so we need more. Uh, let's get our research started. Yikes, this is still driving me nuts. I'm trying to get used to this camera rotation. All right, so we've got that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. What in the world is a fountain? Okay, so it's just a happiness thing. Okay, that is a lot of research to do. Man. All right, house. We want house. We want to research that. And then I also want to research this. Can I load that up? No, I cannot. I cannot start. Yikes, a list if I don't already have enough research. Okay, well, I guess we'll keep that in mind. Interesting. Not exactly what I was hoping for. I wanted a, a way to cue all that in, uh, but it does not appear as though that's going to happen. All right, so we need people. We got it. Uh, we need people. Actually, this library. I want to destroy this is what I want to do. All right, they're almost done with this one. All right, so let's go ahead and get some things done here. We want, where is that? Storage. There it is. Elevator. We want the elevator there. That connects the road. Now we want the road to go up and around because I need to be able to put something here and here. So a quarry here and a mine for the iron there. All right, so let's go ahead and move this road like that. I'm not sure what we're gonna do here. I need the guys to still be able to get over here to this research possibility. Uh, but at the same time, I'm going to need to place something for this iron. Like right there, maybe? It needs to be adjacent, I believe. So that's going to be a tricky one. All right, let's let these guys get to work. We are going to put a pause on that and get rid of the people that are working there because I need them to do other things. While we are trying so hard to figure out exactly what we are going to do. All right, task at hand. We need wood. I think I'm going to put our wood cutter. Uh, I really don't want to put him. I think I like right here, honestly. Let's do that. Because he's still got some around, and that will allow me to keep all of these green tiles I can, and hopefully that will help us out with production and allow us to uh, add more as time goes on. Okay, so where are we right now? Uh, we need a school for more people. That's where we are. Uh, where are we at? This is, oh, I can house, I can upgrade. 
Got it. All right, the school. Uh, right there's not bad. It takes care of one of these empty spots. Yeah, let's go with that. I like that idea. So right now we should have most people working on food. And then hopefully we'll have somebody that we can operate here. I'm going to make this high priority because we definitely need that. So that they can sustain themselves and stop relying as much on the trade route. Right now we've got plenty of wood. We've got vegetables. Tea. Yeah, tools. We, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. But I do want to see. Didn't we see that there were... Nope, they took almost all of it out. Let's make sure. Did he get it? Yes, he did. Alright, so these guys are busy working... All right, they have cleared out the research down here, which means that's the only one left. And sure enough, right on cue, here they come. How much do they have left up here? 64, yikes, okay. All right, so that's a long time. Now we need to get our production up here, which means we need a quarry. And I'm going to have these guys face this way. Again, just to minimize the amount of walking they have to do and at the same time I am also going to do an iron mine and put it right there okay which is going to raise some other questions let's see they're not putting it in there are they putting it in here where are they putting this research whenever they're done is it in here I'm actually not sure what they're doing with it. Since I closed down their building. Alright, so he's looking for 0 of 7. Alright, so they're going to load that up. Alright, so let's hop back over here for a moment. We need to make some changes. Let's go ahead and upgrade some of these buildings. I'm going to set... Uh, let's do 3. Okay, those three can upgrade. We need a school. Uh, and it is two. Uh, where are we going to put the school? Uh, that's actually not a terrible thing. I mean, not the maybe the best, but I, I kind of like it. I can live with that. So now after we get these upgrades, let's see, what do these things look like? All right, so baby, basically it's a double-decker shack is what it looks like. Yeah, we've got some stairs on the outside. So all right, now we have 43 of 50. We will continue. Let's continue to upgrade some of these. Because, again, while we're not really spending any time on island number one right now, uh, we will need to get back to it because that's where a lot of our resources are going to come to get these other islands up and going. All right, and this can go away. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's see, we can... Okay, that note, that's not really going to help us. All right, how are we doing in our school? Oh, yeah, yeah, we got people in the school, which means that we need some more upgrades. Let's do that. Two and upgrade these. All right, so far so good. As soon as these upgrades can get done, that's going to give us more room for more people, which means that uh, we can put some more houses out here. How about two? Yes, and then we'll try to upgrade those as time goes on when resources are available. Uh, how much do we have? How much are we producing here? Uh, no storage space. Oh, well, I guess we need to get some storage space now, don't we? All right, where can we put some storage? Uh, I would actually like very much to put one, like maybe right here. Can I do that? Let's try that. Where are we at? Storage. Uh, we can't do that. Oh, we don't have any uh, tools. 
Not yet, anyway. All right, so we're going to need storage. I would imagine these guys are also almost full. All right, so we need tools. And let's see, what are, what are these buildings? The Explorer Hut and the Library. Okay, so nothing new there. So we're waiting on some tools. All right, how many is this guy loading up? He's got nine on board right now. That's enough. That'll get us where we need to be, I believe. All right, let's go see now. Oh, are you kidding me? You need a library on the island after I just got rid of this thing. Ah, okay. All right, you win, game. You win. I am going to put this... Where can I put this thing to get it out of the way? Because I don't really need it. Oh, that's a good spot right there. I like it. Out of the way. All right, so I guess this is another one of those cases where you live and you learn. We'll keep the library. We need to build one. We just don't need to do anything with it. Maybe we can just leave it on pause so that we don't waste any of our workers that way. Maybe that will work. Okay, we'll try that next time, rather than just not building anything at all. All right, so now we have one. Can I please build one? I can. Excellent. Uh, actually, can I build it like right here? Uh, you don't seem to like that at all. Like, you're not going to let me... No? Nothing? Okay, right there. It looks like you you like that. Nope. Can I have... Woo! Okay. Reminder. Look for a way to manually rotate these things. There's got to be a way. I'm just, I just don't know about it right now. Okay, so that's storage. And I'm thinking this particular storage is going to be good for... Uh, perhaps. Ooh, I would love to put one, like, right here. Something like that. Maybe. Yeah, I'm liking that idea. Maybe, like, right here, even. So that would put two storages. I really don't want two storage, uh, too much storage nearby. Let's see. Oh, we have just crossed a threshold. All right, so I imagine we're past 60 now. That would be the number. So you accumulate a happiness penalty. Oh, great. So something else for us to overcome. All right. Better food and drink is what they want. In the drop down in the top bar. I believe it's talking about... Yeah, there we go. But that's, of course, just island number two. If we go whole planet. Really? Interesting. It doesn't somewhere or is that just on planet or excuse me not planet but uh number island number one here it's at 53 so combined we're over it but it's not going to let me see that i don't know we'll have to come back to that because i get the point it's trying to make but i'm not sure exactly where it's going to show me that all right here we go storage done I uh, can't upgrade that yet, as much as I might like. Uh, let's see. Here, we want to store uh, stone, ore, and ingots, as well as... Let's do that, too. Let's do tools. I need somewhere to store wood. Uh, I guess for right now, I guess we might as well just add wood in here as well. It's going to reduce our numbers, obviously, but... All right, by the way, what do we need for this upgrade? Glasswork technology. All right, well, there you have it. Okay, so those are some of the basics. All right, so we're in good shape. We're getting stone. We're getting iron. Now, we're not doing anything with the iron just yet. 
Uh, but we have basics for food. We have... Uh, can I do forest right now? Because this guy gets bonuses. Let's see. Happy worker bonuses. One nearby forest. Three nearby forests. I like that. Hmm. I feel like we should be able to make that happen. What if... Uh, let's try to do a forest here. Alright, we don't have 20 of those. Also, what is that? Oh, water. Yeah, we'll take care of that. Alright, let's do that. And... No, that's not going to work. Well, it could sort of trade off one forest for another. Because I'm going to have to bring the road through here eventually. And I guess I'm going to have to get rid of this one. Alright, I need to adjust that trade route. We need to keep maybe a little bit more. Let's manage this. And alright, what are we sending back? Uh, let's keep 20. There we go. I like that idea. Alright, now we have run out of red ancient technology. But there's more out there. Okay, so we're going to have to find another island in order to keep doing that. Uh, let's see. Maintain numbers. Okay, yeah, we've seen that. We've, we've already had to deal with that. Okay, so that means there's no more technology left. That means we can shut this building down. I'm not going to get rid of it. Just in case. I learned my lesson there. I'm going to keep it, but we're just going to pause. So that we can have our workers. Alright, we need to upgrade some houses. There we go. So we'll get us a little bit more room. So we're at 22 right now. This will get us up somewhere around 30. Uh, hopefully, 28 to 30. And then we've got more room for housing. Uh, we've got room for over here. We've got room... Uh, let's see, how are we doing for food? How is food? Oh, wow, water? Seriously? Is water seriously that bad? What are we getting here? Oh, production slowed to 70... Okay, so two-thirds there. One nearby accommodation. What does that mean? I was, oh, it's a house nearby. Okay, doesn't like the house nearby. So we need more water. So let's do more water. Let's do a well. And you can see I have to put it on one of the green tiles. I don't have a choice. So what makes the most sense? I'm thinking this might be the most because I've got at least two right there in case I need one. I could go right here. Uh, let's put it right here. Let's do that. Again, it shouldn't matter all that much. But we'll put it right there so that we can get that going. Uh, because this guy... I want another orchard. Why? Because I waited a long time to get an orchard, and I want one now. <laughs> so, all right, let's just put it right there. All right, orchard it is. So, hopefully we'll have enough people now to get started on this. But just in case, let's go ahead and, yeah, let's just go ahead and build the houses. Uh, and let's let these guys live right here on the edge of the ocean. Alright, so far, so good. How are we doing? I know we still haven't addressed our iron yet. Uh, and we're running out of time today. So in order to get iron, here's what's going to need to happen. Let me head back over here. Uh, because we need power. And of course here... On our initial island, we had this one that was all it needed was repair. Well, we don't have that good fortune here. So, do we have power already? Did we already research it? No, not yet. All right, glass work. We know what that brings us. What are f so the fountains are just happiness. What about cooking? What is this going to do? 
All right, I saw a smoothie maker immediately. My eye was just drawn to that. So construction of kitchens and smoothie maker, which produce meals and smoothies, which make people much happier. Uh, and that seems like something that they want. So smoothies are plus three, meals are plus two. Yeah, that seems like something we need to get on. And then glass work does what? Construction of sand mine and glass smelter. Okay, there's our use for the sand. Kind of thought that might be coming down the pipe, but didn't know exactly when. Construction of a marketplace when you can make luxuries. Okay, so this is more about happiness again. Okay. All right, we can work with that. But I think after we get done with the power, so here's our queue. As long as we have enough research available here, then our queue is good to go. Uh, let's do glass work after that. So now we've got a pretty full queue. What is the fuel going to do for us? All right, that's where the oil comes in. Okay, uh, clothing, yes, we want clothing. Because I know the hot climate, these guys are getting worn out. I know that's happening. So, uh, but we are basically out of red research until we can find somewhere else. Uh, did we just finish it off? No, power is almost done. So where are we right now? Did it just get done? Where are we here? We need to build some things over here, including power. And there it is. Power research complete. So let's pop in here. We have a, ooh, a wood generator. Okay, we're going to need some serious wood production. Six per minute. What are we getting right now from our one lonely guy here? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what we're getting. Oh, creates up to 20 per minute. Oh, well, okay. I like that. So, no more storage space. All right, that's where our storage problem is getting us. Where are we at? Yep. Yeah, we're out right there. So, we need more wood storage. And, in fact, can I build that up here somewhere? Uh, I cannot. Actually, yes, I can. Maybe. No, I can't get around it. I was trying to, I was thinking for a second I, I might be able to get around this and build it back here somewhere, but I'm not going to be able to go around it unless I come up, uh, build a road, an elevator over here somewhere. So for right now, I don't really have a way, but we're going to start using a lot of that wood here very soon. So I think we're sort of going to be a moot point here very shortly. All right, so let's go ahead and build this thing. Now this is, I'm sure, going to be a polluter. Yeah, look at that, that uh, purple. All right, so we can build this. Uh, let's keep this out of the way. Uh, I like this idea. Let's put it over here so a lot of these tiles are in the ocean. Yep, yeah, I like that. Let's do that. And... Along with that, let's see, we're going to need to bring our road through. And right to there. Alright, do we ever finish our forest here? We are almost done. What are we waiting for? Somebody's probably resting, if I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, they're so close. Right there. Alright, so now that we're getting power, these guys should be delivering the wood. Yep, there's... Awesome. Awesome. That is working. That means that we can come back and we'll end today's video by putting down our... Uh, let's put down... Yeah, let's just use this area right here. Try to contain all of this. So we'll put our our smelter and our toolsmith right there. And who knows, we might even get a bonus for having these two next to each other. There should be, if there's not. And all right, let's let these guys finish up. Okay, this is getting built. Awesome, this is what I like to see. All right, so, so today has been very good. 
Uh, we're getting resources that are being mined. Now we're getting taken care of some power. We're going to get smelting done with iron. We've got some storage. And of course, none of this would be possible without our ports and our trading routes. So island number two is coming along quite nicely. And of course, we know in the future, we're going to have plenty of use for this oil. I have no doubt. What is this over here? Oh, that's okay. That's the stone. But yeah, everything is looking very good. There's our need for the clothing right there. Yep, they need some clothing to take care of their additional rest from the hot weather. So we're up and running. Island number two is now viable for a variety of reasons. But that is exactly what we were hoping for. So when we come back next time, we've still got more work to do here on island number two. But it's about time we start looking for island number three. And on that note, we'll leave it here for today. Thank you so much for joining me. And stick around for more gameplay of Before We Leave.